BMW 328i. It's a 2000 model. And we got a little problem with the window regulator. I've had this problem before on the driver's side, so I'm pretty sure we know what it is. But we're going to open it up and find out. But I want to share with you kind of what the symptoms are. Uh, maybe you'll have the same symptoms, and this will give you an insight as to what your problem is. So when we roll this window down, you're going to hear it's going to kind of go down a little bit sluggish. A couple things going to happen. It's going to go down sluggish as well as you're going to hear some kind of clicking sound as well as you're going to see that it goes down uneven so it's, it's not coming down even so let's go ahead and roll that down just out yep so you can see where it uh right here it pulled out go ahead and put it up see what does kind of the same okay so it goes down it goes up fine just makes a lot of grinding noise come back down again when it gets down about right here you're going to see it pull out yep and then come down more it goes back in but the key is all that grinding and it's just just not right so we're gonna take the door apart and see if we can figure out what that is all right there's other videos on on the net about taking this apart so we'll do this kind of quickly there's five bolts that hold this door panel on there's one under this panel another one back behind the panel one under that little latch and then two under the armrest the bottom of the door panel you pull it straight out and then it's going to lift after we get those pop loose yeah then it lifts straight up. All right, so what we got to disconnect the uh, handle. We're going to pull that piece straight out. Got disconnect to that. Got a speaker wire. Another speaker wire. Okay. All right. So we're about to take the airbag off, and you got to. We disconnected the battery, uh, so it don't trip any codes. So go ahead and take that airbag off. What is that? A ten? Ten. Ten millimeter. Three, three bolts. All right now this little connection actually pulls straight in the video so we straight down you pull it straight away from the cylinder there you go so it unplugs from the back side of that uh, cylinder so that's disconnected now we need to take that uh, coating off yeah, this. yeah. This you just want to take your time and get this, take this stuff off without trying to tear it. You can't leave the sticky goo on the door panel itself. So, 
show them where the motor is. The window regulator motor is there. We know that works because it's going up and down. That sometimes is the problem, but that's not. I don't think that's our today problem. Today it's going to be the tracks. There's two tracks, left and right, right there, and there's a cable system that goes that uh, makes a big old figure eight uh, between those that raises and lowers the window. So we're going to now we're going to need to raise the uh, is the window in the right position to be able to take the glass off. No, it needs to go up a little bit here. Up a little bit on this side. Okay, so, so before we raise that up, we need to plug back in the. We're going to temporarily plug in the airbag. You do that. Okay, and then give us just a second. We're going to go plug the battery back in. Okay, we've adjusted the window height so that we can get to the two bolts. They're eight millimeter bolts that hold the window to the regulator. Show them where to point to the access hole. So we got to raise it where that bolt's accessible through that hole and right there through that gap. So we're gonna, here's an eight millimeter socket. A lot of the times it drops down. The bolt. Yeah. Not real worried about dropping that bolt. That's a lot of, lot of access to get down there and just grab it. Plus, we got that uh, magnetic stick. That'll help us. All right, you want to raise the glass and here's. You got to push it to get off the tabs. We're going to raise that up and we're going to use some tape. To make sure it stays there, we want to. We're going to take the regulator. There's actually five bolts. Two on this side. There's one at the top, and there's the one at the bottom. Go ahead, and then there's one another one bottom for that regulator. And this side has an extra one over there that actually helps hold the motor. And then there's the top one for the regulator. So those five bolts got to come off next. And that what size is that? Ten. Ten millimeter. Alright, so before you remove that, why don't you go disconnect the battery again. Okay, now that we got the battery disconnected, we can take the airbag back off. Okay. Now we should be able to remove the regulator. You want to take the motor off or you leave the motor on? You leave the motor on. Okay, you may disconnect the motor. There's a clip right there. Kind of a little push button and then that just slides right out.
All right, so right here at the top where this cable comes, there's a zip tie. We're going to snip that off with a pair of dikes, diagonal cutters. Push pin it. All right, so that's that's the window regulator. It's got the components go up and down the motor. All right, so here we've laid the regulator on the ground to do the inspection, and if we zoom in to this little area right here, there's the little plate. That attaches to the window and this this rail that you're seeing is the rear rail that little plate that he just pulled off is supposed to where's that collet right yeah there's a there's a collet that's pinched onto that cable and this little bracket basically grabs onto that collet left and uh, top and bottom problem is point to where the uh, there's some plastic that's broken right there so it It'll push the window up, but when it wants to pull it down, it kind of releases from it. So all the work is being done from the other side of the regulator. So that's why the window goes kind of cockeyed sideways. Now what we're going to do is we're going to plug in, we're going to plug this regulator while it's out of the car. We'll plug it back into the motor, uh, put power back to the motor so that we can see if um, if any of the part of the cable, none of the cable that we see is is frayed, but... The last one we did of this, there was some fraying on the cable, and that's what made the uh, made all the grinding noise. And it may be just because this thing was out of sequence that it uh, was grinding, but we're going to check that out real quick. All right, so we hooked the airbag back up so we could put the battery back on, and now we're going to uh, we hooked the motor, the, the wire back to the motor, so we can just give this a test and see if we can see any noise. Go ahead and go up and down. Feel it jumping and clicking, so do it again. Okay, tell me what we're gonna do. We know this is bad, and we're gonna replace this, so we're gonna, I'm gonna cut it open and see if we can see. There's so much jumping going on in this cable, it's like there's some fraying going on in here. We'll cut it open and see if we can see what the culprit is. So as part of the process of now kind of taking this thing apart to really diagnose what the where that clicking and grinding is, we're going to take the motor off this regulator assembly. There's three Torx screws, one there, one there, and one there. What size torque is that, do you know? No. After you take these screws off, this the motor simply pulls straight up and away from the assembly. You gotta twist it. Well, you gotta twist it. How's that gear look? That's fine. Okay, so we're not we're it's plastic gears. That, uh, that drive this. One of the things you want to look at is make sure that the teeth uh, of those plastic gears aren't messed up. So the next thing we're going to do, now that we, kn we know this regulator is bad, we're going to replace it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and cut it open and see if we can see what's wrong with it. One other simple test we're going to do now that we've pulled that motor off, we're going to actually test make sure it seems to be spinning free of any uh, labor or anything like that or making any noise. So we plugged it back in. Go ahead and go like upper. There's up and there's down, so that's that seems to be working flawless. We know it's not the motor; it's just this regular piece. All right, so so here we go. We're gonna dissect this thing, kind of cut it open. We're gonna cut the cable that's right there in the middle of the track. Show where we're gonna cut it. Yeah, somewhere there's the collet there. Actually, cut it right above that collet on my side of it. Yep. So that cable will go through. Okay, there's that one, and then. Uh, Maybe all we need to do, go ahead and pull 
Yeah, pull that all the way out and inspect that cable. Alright, so that cable looks fine. Pull it out at the top over here. This other top, yeah. Pull that black thing. See, that's an issue there, isn't it? So now pull the black, pull it out the other way. No, 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 right there. Right. Pull, pull the black piece right there. Pull that black out of the white. There you go. Now pull the black piece off. Anything wrong there? No, I'm not afraid. That's going to be hooked. It's going to have a collet on it too of some sort. So don't worry there. Now go the other Pull, yeah, pull that out. Oh, you're going to cut the collet off the far side. Okay, so nothing appears to be wrong with the cable. What about pulling this white piece off? Yep. Yeah. How can we get this black plastic off of that? Yeah. Take it in and drill it out. Yeah. I, want, I want to see it. All right. We're going to take it in the shop. Okay. So we brought these two pieces into the shop. And this is kind of how they oriented. This is a passenger door. This is back at the rear of the door. This is more toward the front of the door. This is the top. And down here is the bottom. And um, interesting, when I flip this over, on the bottom side, there's no wheel here. This is just... It's uh, it must be a really slick pl plastic um, that that cable just rides on the plastic. There's no roller wheel or anything. What would be the top of that is a roller wheel. And when I first started moving this, I could feel I could hear that grind, that little cracking grinding in here. And that now it's freed up. So I think that's where that is where the um, that grinding was. I don't hear it at all now, but I could hear the clicking and the grinding on that wheel. So I think that's where the problem, just the noise was. Which in the, in the wheel actually, it's the the bearing's fine. It, it was really not an issue. And then the same thing on this side. If I flip this over, the bottom part of this track, again, there's no roller. The cable just slides across this plastic. So it slides across this plastic, no roller. And then on this the top side, there's a, a wheel and it seems to, the bearings seem to be fine. We're still gonna take this apart. I wanna see how this, how this grabs that cable. In fact, there it is right there. I just wanna see how that looks like. Let me do some drilling. All right, just so we can see how this thing comes apart. This the the motor has got a plastic wheel. These are those teeth that we saw were pretty good, and they're still they're in great shape. And then this is the wind up wheel. This winds up and makes the this cable go in or out. But uh, I'm gonna try and pull that off. this cable I bet it's it's spooled around there in such a way where it can obviously let the window all the way up and all the way down and I tell you what if this section right there ever had to get into that cable that would be the problem. Remember when the when the window came down at halfway, it kind of had a little hiccup because that's not even round anymore. It's flattened. And there shouldn't be any part of this cable that's flattened. 
uh, there's a simple connection to there and the same thing with the other side of it simple connection so I think that's 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 definitely part of the issue is the cables messed up right there and then the, that made it hiccup on the up and down and then the the fact this wheel had a little bit of grinding at one point that was the grinding piece so okay for me a lot of times identifying how to fix something is knowing how it works if you know how it works how it's supposed to work you can uh, typically f figure out what's wrong with it in some cases so what I want to show you here is how this regulator works there's a cable here at the top and a cable coming out the bottom and when the motor spins one way it pulls this cable this way which raises your window and when you pull it the other way it pulls this this piece down so the motor is hooked to the cable and it either pulls up or down and then that basically pulls this piece of track and then the window connects the bottom of the window connects to that little socket right there and I'm going to show you what this thing looks like you can pull this thing off so on this cable what they did is they they crimped uh, um, a collet and then they snap that collet into this piece of plastic and so if that cable goes up it pulls this piece of plastic and this bracket and ultimately your window up if we pull if it goes the other direction it pulls this piece down so this was the good side this is the the side closest to the front of the car which was fine what we found a problem was was the piece that was on the the rear of the car um, the back of the door and really what happens is this sits just like this the window gets latched into here is the collet goes right in here the bottom worked fine but the top was broken off because that bottom that top piece is broken off what well, basically what happens is that allowed that allowed this window this bracket to drop down you know the cable would sit still and the, this the bracket could go this way it couldn't go this way because it was jammed in but you know this piece breaks and we've already replaced the driver's side regulator on this car and it was the exact same this piece was the culprit this piece had broke and that collet was no longer grabbing this bracket enabling it to slide up and down so just wanted to show you how this piece worked just so in case your your motor seems to be working but your windows not going up and down most likely you've broken this plastic all right the new window regulator came in and we're going to reinstall it we'll do it kind of quickly it did this version did come with a motor uh, the motor's a little bulky so we took the motor off and now we're going to install it it's kind of tricky so this is how we figured out how that this thing will go in right so go ahead and we put in the bottom end in first that right side in but just over to the side that fit in when we tried to put it in with that left side in the top end in first it acted like it was the wrong part over so we'll get that buttoned up and be right back you get your see how it's leaning like that what's leaning the front, the, the window goes like this. Okay. So by putting the front in, it was, but like if you do that. Ah, gotcha. Okay, we got those nuts on. There's five nuts. On the front section, there's three. One, two, and three. Those we went ahead and tightened down. Those are kind of, those are not adjustable. But the ones on the back, there's two nuts. That one and the bottom one. Those you put on, but leave those loose because it's going to be part of allowing that thing to float and get in the right position before we lock it down so it matches the window. Next we're gonna put on the motor. All right, so now we got the motor installed. It was three Phillips head. The original door came with a, a, a Torx, three Torx. All right, so now we need to lower the window regulator so that we can attach the window. In order to do that, we're gonna plug back in the uh, airbag and then attach the battery. All right, so now the battery, we got battery. And he's now lowering the regulator so that it's, which hole is you going to line up first? This one. Okay, so we've lowered it down to that position. And now we're going to lower this window down. Alright, so now we've, we've adjusted the window regulator height. So that it matches through that hole, that access hole. Show them the access hole right there. 
and we've now set the window in place so it's on those little plastic pieces and now we're going to put um, this uh, screw into it a, a, sheet, a metal screw and the easiest way to do it is with a little magnet and uh, that's this way we can get it started with that magnet because it's, it's down in there kind of deep get it kind of in the position and start twisting it to get it that started yeah that was done okay what size is this eight eight, eight millimeter and we'll do the same for the front All right, so now is the time that we need to make, we need to actually adjust this so that it works properly and doesn't get bound. So those two bolts on the bottom of the glass, we just brought those snug. We didn't tighten those down. Also remember that the right-hand side of this regulator is also loose, so it can adjust itself. We want to raise the window up. Go ahead and raise the window up. And we're going to watch the top edge and make sure that this top edge is going to run parallel. Yep, it's parallel. So it's left and right, it's, it's perfect. And now you can tight, go ahead and tighten with it up here. Now we can tighten this bolt because we know this is in the right position, this is the upper part of this tray. All right, now lower it down and we'll, we'll, we'll snug up this one as well as, as finish tightening the glass. All right, so next we're going to take it down to the bottom of the track, as far as down as it'll go. That sets the proper width of the two tracks, and now we're going to tighten the bottom track. All right, so the tracks are now parallel like they want to be, and the window is horizontal with the upper frame. That's very important. All right, so the original door had this cable was zip tied to a little hole, so we're going to add a zip tie. All right, next we're going to install the black padded cover. Alright, Nick, now we're going to install the airbag. All right, so now we're ready to put the door panel on and there's gonna be three connection points. Uh, one is the lower speaker, make sure we get the lower speaker in installed, wires installed, the uh, middle, middle range speaker, and then the door handle is gonna connect up there.
All right, now it's all that's left is a few little trim pieces. So here it is, it works perfectly. It goes up and down very smoothly and very quietly. If you've enjoyed the contents of this video, please subscribe to my channel. This is only my third video, but I think it turned out pretty well. Also, I'll be creating a playlist where we'll collect all the videos that are related to this car. And by all means, don't forget the like button. It's just a simple click. Remember, with just a little bit of insight, you can do it too.